Kamyang is a critically endangered Thai language of India, spoken by the Kamyang people. Approximately 50 people speak the language, all reside in the village of Pauemuk, located 7 miles downstream of Margarita in the Tinsukia district. It is closely related to the other Thai languages in the Assam region, Aitone, Kamthi, Fake, and Turing. General information The Kamyang, also spelled Kamjang, Kamjang language is in a critically endangered state. It is only spoken as a mother tongue in Pauemuk, and only by no more than 50 older adults. It is used by the older adults to communicate with one another, in specific religious and ritual times, and when in contact with other Thai speakers. Only two Kamyang speakers can read the language, Cha Sa Mayat Chowlik, and Cha Cha Seng. Both are elderly, and were born in 1920 and 1928, respectively. Additionally, the resident monk, Etika Bhikkhu, who natively speaks Thai fake, is fluent in the Thai script. In addition to the older generation of full speakers, there is a middle generation of semi-speakers of Kamyang. Mori writes that their knowledge has not yet fully been investigated. Also, children in Paamuk have some knowledge of the language, the phonetic transcription of Kamyang. S name for the village is Mon 3 Paa 1 Waai 6, and its Assamese, English name Pauimuk. According to Cha Samayat, Waai 6 means rattan, and was given because rattan plants grow on the river. There are several variants of the spelling, Pauimuk, Pauimuk, and others. The 2011 Census of India lists the village as Pauimuk No. 2, as does Google Earth. The translation of the village's Kamyang name is Village of the Pawai River. The Kamyangs are also sometimes referred to as the Nora, although Mori notes that he has never heard the remaining Kamyang speakers refer to themselves as Nora. History Very little has been written about the origin, language, and history of the Kamyang people. In 1981, Muhi Chandra Shyam Panjok discussed the history of the Kamyangs. Panjok's account begins with a group of Thai, who in the future would be called Kamyangs, being sent into Assam by Thai king Sukhanfa. Their goal was to search for the king's brother Sukhanfa, the founder of the Ahom kingdom in the Brahmaputra valley in 1228. After finding Sukhafa and returning to King Sukhanfa, the Kamyang settled at the Nanyang Lake and lived there for approximately 500 years. Leach believes the lake to the south of the Tirup River, and cites the lake as the origin of the name, Kamyang. In 1780, the Kamyangs resettled in the Assam region and became divided in the troubles of the final years of the Ahom kingdom, fighting with and against. The Ahams, one group of Kamyangs settled in Dali in 1798, and are thought to be the ancestors of the ethnic Kamyangs who currently live in the Jorhat and Galaghat districts. Borua lists several Kamyang villages in the Jorhat and Galaghat districts, Na Shiam Gaon, Balajan Shiam Gaon, Betbaru Shiam Gaon in Jorhat, Rajapukori No. 1 Shiam Gaon in Galaghat. Thai Kamyang is not spoken in these communities, and self-identification as a Kamyang is not necessarily based on the usage of the language. Another of the divided groups settled in the Dibrugar district, then in 1922 resettled in the village of Pamuk. The latter part of Panjok's account was confirmed by Cha Sa Mayat Chowlik, who was born around 1920, and told Mori the story of his parents bringing him to the newly founded village. Pamuk is a village on the Burhai Dying River. It is about 7 miles downstream of Margarita. The community has about 40 houses along a single road. A Buddhist temple lies in the middle of the village, and in front of it is a small sand pagoda. Language documentation The Kamyang language appears in a number of linguistic surveys. One of the earliest linguistic surveys of the Assam region was done by Grierson, published in 1904 as the Linguistic Survey of India. Although Grierson did not mention Kamyang in his survey, he included a language called Nora that has not shown up in other surveys. Later, studies by Stephen Mori, 2001-2, Anthony Diller, 1992, and others were conducted on the Thai languages in Assam, and included notes on Kamyang. 
Although there is not a grammar for Kamyang specifically, Mori goes into some depth about the languages in the Thai languages of Assam, a grammar and texts, Mori, 2005, and discusses its similarities with Thai fake in Chapter 6 of the Thai Kadai languages, Diller, Edmondson, Luo, 2008. The written Kamyang language uses a modified Thai script, with marked tones to differentiate it from the other tonal Assamese Thai languages. The Kamyang tonal system has six tones with a different distribution from the six tones of the fake. Several recordings of the Kamyang language have been uploaded to the internet, and include stories and conversation in the Kamyang language. Relationship between Kamyang and Nora There is little documentation regarding the relationship between Kamyang and Nora. Some scholars posit that Kamyang and Nora are the same, or that the groups merged at one point in history. In the Linguistic Survey of India, Sir George Abraham Grierson did mention and exemplify the language of the Nora NRR. In Grierson's description in 1904, he stated that there were around 300 speakers in his time. Additionally, he provided some phonological notes which suggest some similarities with present-day Kamyang, and also two texts, including some riddles. Additionally, it is said by some Thai in India that Nora and Kamyang are identical languages, although according to text, linguist Stephen Mori has never heard the remaining Kamyang speakers refer to themselves as Nora. Vitality Although the language is critically endangered, it is not yet moribund. There has been an attempt to pass the language on to the next generation. Mori writes that in 2001 a meeting of Kamyang elders was held, and the gathered decided to promote the speaking of the language in the village. In 2002, Cha Mahinktha began teaching the language to primary school age children. Every day at around 4 p.m., young children at the village primary school began attending Kamyang instruction. Their lessons consist of practicing writing numbers, lists of everyday words, short dialogues, and Thai characters. Recently, the Endangered Languages Documentation Program has set up a project to document the Kamyang language. It aims to document more of the Kamyang oral literature as well as the available written manuscripts with the aim of being used to produce textbooks and other language learning materials for revitalizing the use this language by its young native speakers. One. References External links Kamyang at the Endangered Languages Project Tonal Change in the Thai Languages of Northeast India by Stephen Mori The Thai Kadai Languages on Google Scholar, by Anthony Diller, Jerry Edmondson, Yongjin Luo Thai and Tibeto-Burman languages of Assam on the Ceiling Archive, a searchable corpus of texts collected and analyzed by Stephen Mori and Associates. ELAR Archive of Documentation of the Oral Literature of the Thai Kamyang Community in Upper Assam, India